So if you use Safari to primarily go to a set of the same websites pretty frequently then you may want to use top sites not only to get there quickly but to be able to see previews of these. Let me show you how top sites works. I'm going to go to top sites right now by clicking on the button here at the left side of the favorites toolbar. That's one way to get to it. I'll show you some other ways soon. Then you're going to see these little previews of different websites that are top sites. Now Top Sites is going to populate itself with the sites that you most often visit. But you don't have to leave it that way. You can actually specify exactly what you want to be here in Top Sites. So for instance, say if I want to make sure MacMost is always there in Top Sites. Notice if I put my cursor over it I get a little Close button and a Pin button. Close button will remove it from Top Sites for now. Pin will not only keep it there but it will make sure it's always there on Top Sites. So even if I haven't visited that site for a while it will always appear there. And you can pin as many of these as you want. So let's pin a bunch of them. Now let's say I want to add a site that's not there. So let's go to another site and under Bookmarks I can add a bookmark for the site. And one of the things I can choose here is Top Sites. So I'll add to Top Sites. Now I'm going to return to Top Sites by clicking that button again. and You can see it's added it there and it's pinned it. Since I've manually added it there it assumes that I want it pinned. Now I could organize the sites in here by dragging them around. So I could put them in the order that I want. So basically I could set it up so that all the pinned sites appear first and then if I visit some other sites pretty frequently it will add them manually. and I can remove them or I can decide I want to add them there as pinned sites. Now there's a whole bunch of preferences that you can adjust for top sites. So the first thing I want to show you is that you can adjust how you get to top sites. So let's go to uh, Safari Preferences and you can set it up under General so that new windows open with top sites. Now if you don't have that turned on I've noticed if you say switch to favorites then that button there will actually take you to favorites, a list of favorites, not top sites. So you're going to have this turned on for new windows open with and new tabs open with. And that way anytime you create a new tab, I'm going to use Command T to do that here, you can see it shows me top sites. Uh, in addition this button then works with top sites but if you don't have the favorites bar turned on uh, you can easily hide it and show it there. You could always customize the toolbar. I'm going to Control click on the toolbar here to hit Customize Toolbar. And I can easily add top sites into the toolbar like that by dragging it there. The same way, same way you customize a toolbar in any app. And now I've got this button here that will actually take me to top sites. So I can go to a website here and I can go back to top sites by clicking on that button. Now you may have already noticed that under Preferences there's some other settings for top sites. Here the number of sites shown by top sites, 6, 12, or 24, can be set here. You notice that if I set it to 6 the previews are a lot larger than say 24 where they are actually pretty small. 12 is a good medium number. Now the thing about top sites is that it's a good alternative if you are trying to say uh, uh, go uh, use tabs a lot and then you notice that the tab view there it's kind of similar except that uh, the thing about this is uh, it's, it can be a little more difficult to get to sometimes but also um, this will only show you what you currently have open in tabs. So it kind of makes you want to have all these sites open in tabs all the time. So maybe you have 10 different tabs open all the time. Whereas with top sites you could feel free to close all the tabs that you're not using and know that you could pretty easily in a very similar looking interface get to any of these very quickly in a similar way to the Show Tabs button works. So I may want to consider trying to use Top Sites if you're used to using this Show Tabs button uh, instead and see if that works better for you and allows you maybe to have a more streamlined browser experience with fewer tabs open.